Good afternoon, Mr. Bradley. Good afternoon. Um, before I begin, um, I wanted to ask you if you have, if you wanted to clarify any of your statements that you made yesterday. Go ahead and begin. I wanted to ask if you wanted to clarify any of your statements that you made in yesterday. Go ahead and ask whatever you're going to ask, Ms. Merchant. Um, you initially became involved in this matter because you called me. Right. Absolutely not. I didn't call you. No, it was through a third party. Um, you called me after you read an article in, and I don't even know where it was. I, I found one in the Washington Examiner. Your Honor, I've got an objection. Can we approach the bench? Okay. Well, <laughs> well I, I can alert the court broadly to my concerns. Uh, this witness. It appears from the questions that Ms. Merchant had proposed. Don't differentiate between what I'm considering three kind of buckets of information that this witness might have. One is communication derived from his representation of Mr. Lee. Second is any information that he might have from personal knowledge. The third category, which I believe is the substance of what Ms. Merchant wants to go into, is information not derived from personal observation, not derived from communication with uh, Mr. Wade's client, but gossip, secondhand, thirdhand, speculative things. Ms. Merchant's questions don't differentiate those, those categories of information. And I'm concerned about the questions being proposed without that qualification so that Mr. Bradley doesn't know when to invoke the privilege. Uh, I think the testimony yesterday was he didn't have any personal knowledge of any of this, <clears throat> that was my understanding of the testimony. I believe that was Mr. Bradley's uh, sworn testimony yesterday. And my concern is that the gossip part and the unsourced hearsay is is where we're going to get to really fast. Sure. And I, I think that's a, a fair point. I think we she's following the script that she already provided you. So we have more than enough notice of when that might be coming. I think the second she asks a question that you think might weigh into that, make the objection and we can rephrase if necessary. All right, Ms. Merchant, you can re-ask that last question. Um, you read an article that was from September 11th discussing how much you and Mr. Wade were handling the meeting, correct? That is correct. And you called me that same day and left me a voicemail on my cell phone asking me to call you back. I do not recall that, but I do not recall that. You don't recall that? I do not. So it's possible that that happened. I do not recall calling you after the article came out. I was shown the article, but I do not recall calling you after the article. Um, can you tell us your phone number? It's 334-717. Wait, hold up. Why, why is that relevant, Ms. Yeah. Merchant? Because um, I need to establish that his phone number is the one that all of the texts that he had with me. Well, you can I just ask him if he has texted you at some point. I can, we can stipulate that as a matter of record. I don't, we don't need that on the record. Okay. You don't have to put it in the record. Um, how about this? Can I show him a copy of his, his, um, what he saved in it? In my sure. <clears throat> now approach touch. You may. Take a look at that and just verify if that's your number and your cell phone. That is my number and my cell phone. Okay, and is that also your email address? That is my email address. Okay, Thank you. And I'll keep that separate, Judge, um, and we can redact it. Um, so after whether or not you left a message on my voicemail, the next day um, we were all in court in front of Judge Harris on September 12, 2023. And how do you recall that? I do recall being in Judge Harris, yes, I do. And um, your attorney, B.C. Chopper, was there, and I was there, and another attorney, Burke Cohen, were there, correct? Those people were there at the time. B.C. was not the um, my attorney. I didn't realize I needed an attorney until I was subpoenaed. Um, but but B.C. Chopper was there. I'm going to check to the relevance I... of this. <laughs> Ms. Cross, as, as I see this line of testimony, much of it is I, I, I'm taking in response to the original uh, how we started off this whole hearing that Ms. Merchant had no basis whatsoever to bring this and she should be sanctioned. And I think she's laying that out. OK, all right, Ms. Merchant. I, I recall um, it was in a conference 
room in the front. Um, I don't know. I know you were handling a case in Judge Harris. I think I was speaking to Bert about a case, and BC was there to speak to Bert about a case. Yes, I, I, I think I, I do recall that happening, but I can't recall who else was there. It was a regular court date. In that conference room, that's sort of a, in Cobb County. There's a conference room in the front. Of the room. Correct. Um, and it's not, it's not a public room. It's sort of like the jury room here. Correct. And it was the four of us in that room talking. I don't recall if anybody else was there. I, I will say that I do remember at some point it was myself, you, BC, and Bert there, but people were coming in and out of the courtroom. So I cannot sit here and say, accurately say that somebody else wasn't there at the time. Uh, Correct. <laughs> Um, and based on that phone conversation, I told you I had been submitting open records requests and I was going to continue to submit open records requests, correct? Based off what phone conversation? Based upon our conversation in court. Oh, okay. Um, correct. You you said that you were doing some open records requests, correct? And then based on our conversation, I told you I was going to do some additional open records requests. Which open record, records request are you talking about? Just any. I'm just asking if, if we talked about that I was going to be doing some follow-up to Fulton County. That's what I was Because I, I recall open records requests being made for other things, and so I don't know which one that you're referring to. Um, we At that time, we talked about um, getting, a, I guess it's called a, a county card and getting access cards and things like that for coming in and out of Fulton County for you, Mr. Wade. Okay. Um, and, and all of the access that you all have yes, to the office. Yes, and you asked me, did I have an access card? And you are the one that told me that you and Mr. Wade, or that Mr. Wade at least had an access card. I told you that the three of us had an access card because we um, had a contract with the DA's office or the county. Um, I told you what those contracts were and that we had an access card that would allow us to pick up the documents, go into a specific office, and leave out. Right, okay. And so we talked about um, about that bad access card and asking for that, and I was gonna ask for that, right? Correct. And then a couple days later, um, I sent you a text, and then when I say a couple days, so that was on September 12th when we had that conversation. Do you mind if I pull out my phone? Not at all. Okay. On September 14th um, at 6.38 p.m., It was September 14th. September 14th, correct. And I sent you a screenshot of a Fulton County Open Records request I did. Yes, and I said, wow. Um, and then, and then we continued to text. Wait, 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 wait. Okay, sorry. And then you sent another text about a badge, and I did not respond. You sent another text about an interest card, entrance card. I did not respond. You sent another text about some other badges and with a circle around it, and I did not respond. I object, Your Honor. Okay. I'm sorry. Thank you. All right. Um, uh, Mr. I, Bradley, if you could just respond to the question asked and only the question asked. That was Thank actually, you, I have an additional okay. um, thing I want to raise. Ms. Merchant provided some text messages that she let us know that she was going to refer to. Uh, the text messages are inconsistent with Mr. Bradley's. Uh, exchange as he apparently is reading it off of his phone. So if I could ask Ms. Merchant, is this a, it is true, accurate, and complete, um, and perhaps we can see what's on Mr. Bradley's phone, but more importantly, I am going to object, I understand the court's leeway way about Ms. Merchant sure. being able to establish contact um, based on um, previous uh, statements made, but I'm concerned about going into the content of the, the statements without putting things in the buckets that I've, I've identified. Sure. And, and, and so am I, Ms. Merchant. I'm not seeing so much the relevance of, of it back and forth. I'm allowing you to establish, you know, the contact that was made and, and line with the outline you, you provided me. And I, and I think we're 
on track with that. Were you tendering, were you planning to tender these text messages? I was planning on discussing them with him. Now, if yesterday you said we didn't talk text about this case, so if that was his testimony again today, then yes, I will at least I would show them to him to refresh his recollection or um, to impeach him. But Judge, their, their first part of their argument is foundation, um, is what I'm assuming. They're saying all of these. They're not all relevant. I can give you all of my texts, but they're not all relevant. And so they asked for screenshots, and so I took screenshots. If there is a way to submit my entire text history with Mr. Bradley, then that's fine. If they want us to read every single text, that's fine. I just don't want to be in a position where people are saying that, that, that I'm not. Well, I also want to avoid the situation where you as counsel of record are having to just lay the foundation and, and do that sort of thing yourself. So. I don't know how much further we can go with this before we get into that, so. Well, I'm not sure what their objection is. He, so I asked him about one question, and he read sure. several other Why don't we just go with your next question, and we'll see where we go from there. <coughs> um, all right, let's see. But, so. Oh, and Bradley, when she, no, wait for her to ask a question. I, and I understand that, Judge, and I'm not well, trying to. Well, apparently you don't, sir. Wait for her to ask a question, and you'll have a chance. Um. So I think what I, the, the last thing I asked you was about September 14th. Um, so those texts that you're talking about, those refer to the issue that we're here today about them? Some texts, yes. Yes, okay. Um, and then you called me again on September 15th, 2023, and you spoke on the phone. I do not recall that. Well, I texted you and said I needed to call you back, and then I later called you back. I, I'm not sure. I'm not, I do not recall. You don't recall that? Okay. And... Um, do you recall the following Monday, um, Your Honor, I, I appreciate the, the question um, as it is on the form. And if the question is what she's going to read, I object to it even being asked out loud.